Joe Schmo? Or what? Joe Hi. Schmo. No. Okay. We gotta you know think what side of the country you're from? What's that? Yeah, what side of the country you're from? Uh, I don't even want to tell that. I don't want to give out any information about it. Where are you from? I'm from here. Okay, from what here. company do you work for? I work for the Arizona Informant Newspaper. Arizona and, and who are you? I'm Morpheus. Okay, and what's Morpheus? Morpheus, that is who I am. Okay, so what do, what do you represent? I represent freedom and the okay. rights of the individual. Okay, so what organization are you with? The organization of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're full of shit. That's no, right. I'm right on. <laughs> I'm damn straight. <laughs> yeah, I'm being as straight as you've ever been in anybody. Yeah, right. I'm not okay. kidding. So are you am from? Am I kidding? No, are you're from not, not kidding. Not kidding, not kidding at all. Okay. All right. So are you from Arizona? I live in this state. Okay. All right. And from where, where did you move? Are you native? I'm not or? a native. I moved from New York. Okay. Okay. And in New York, they have gun laws? From what I understand, they do have uh, scribbles that the some guy who's supposed to be considered to be uh, a, a more important than everybody else dictating rules to other people. So I guess if that's what you want to call it, yeah. Okay. So do you, do you protest uh, the gun laws? I don't laws protest anything. You don't protest? I'm rallying for freedom. He exercises Rally for freedom. First Amendment right to free speech. Oh, right. Okay. This is about that's free speech. Oh, oh that's good. I mean, I'm no objection to that. No, no. What would you be your form? Come on. What would be well, your Where form? are you with the press or what? I'm with me. We're not press. Oh. Trust We're me. We're exercising our free speech. Do you want to tell me about what your reform would be? <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I'll tell you what mine would be. Okay. Let's get the government out of the healthcare industry. <laughs> Prices will drop and then everyone can afford it. Six hundred million dollars so to get you, AIDS. So, out. well, there's plenty of profit involved in healthcare now, and you think it's doing so well? I mean, well, I, I know lots of horribly. people. I know lots of people who have jobs that offer insurance, but they can't afford the premiums. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think you think what's? I mean, now it is. It's it's the free market is in charge of healthcare now, there is and, and free there are millions of people who can't afford it and aren't getting healthcare. But you b misinvertently believe that the free market is in control when it's not. I can't. If they, you know, I can but see what you're saying. But if it's in control to a degree and it's not working, then why would we want to push it further in that direction? No. That just well, means more prop, more of a profit-driven system, and more people getting screwed, not having any health care at all. Well, I'm a big believer in alternative medicine. I don't ever order everywhere else. You do not have your rights or that's secondary. So you haven't been harassed by anybody except for maybe a few people that have been a little bit curious, correct? That's it. Yeah. Have you had anybody being upset with? You? Some some people are like you're frightening me, and I don't you know I tell them you know I don't I'm sorry if I'm frightening you I don't intend to frighten you. Say because I'm black. <laughs> Because I can, and I want to make sure it stays that way. You have to yeah. exercise your right. State where nobody open carries, and the police don't even know, so it's as good as not having the right because they'll still harass you and stop you. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not from Ohio, but I lived in Ohio before, and it's it's a lot different than it is here. Vote now. Vote now. Vote now. Pay for it yourself. People want the health care? Pay for it. What's? Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Both of them. Why would you carry an unloaded gun? Yeah, Both why would you have are. an unloaded gun? I think you're doing it just for, you know, sake of demonstration, I suppose. Okay, well, now I'm afraid I'll say something you won't like and you'll shoot me, so let me go. I wish you a nice day. We'll protect you. I don't think you would attack me. You seem like a nice woman. <laughs> Other than the fact that you want to steal from everybody. But yeah, she wants someone else with a gun to do the steal. Two guns! Two guns! Hey, Chris, you know, uh, we've been activists doing this for a long time, and, uh, I mean, you got the white long sleeve shirt, black tie, you know, an AR-15. But you look like Louis, Louis Faircom with a with an AR-15, man. What up with that? Uh, I don't think I have anything in common with, with Louis Faircom. <laughs> Against, uh, I just wanted to make sure that we could still, you know, exercise our rights in Phoenix and not have any problems or harassment. And I'm very impressed with the, with, the, with the professional operation of the Phoenix Police Department today. But what, what do you attribute that to? Is it their culture here in Arizona? Is it somebody? Yeah, because you have also a lot of people here that are here to see of Obama signs. See of Obama signs in support of socialized medicine. We have a black man with an AR-15 walking around, and uh, how they treated him. Uh, actually, surprisingly well. I mean, you know, I, I disagree with them, but they're not, they're not attacking me. Either. But then again, we have like a police escort here following us around, so maybe they know better. Well, it, yeah, you kind of draw attention. You know, yeah. And the one thing I'm wondering uh, is your AR-15 loaded? Oh, absolutely. 
Why would of course so? And my ma and my extra magazine is also loaded. And, and you have a sidearm, what's that? It's a Glock, Glock 17, I know it. She had a Glock 17. <laughs> you, you know, know what, what I mean. I mean. You know, the, the thing is, is that we, we from experience, whoa, that's a bug. We're experienced here as activists, and we know how these things really work. And I'm not really concerned about the people that would have the energy and the, uh, the excitement and enthusiasm to actually come down and express themselves. But, you know, a lot of times, people take advantage of crowds like party of and they will, you know, be kind of ornery or Someone would take advantage of a situation like this and cause some much larger than To be honest with you, that would be like very stupid of them to do because I know how to use these things. So I would not hesitate at all if somebody was doing it. You know, creating a dangerous situation. So, so you know, is it your advocacy that by having guns here, we're probably all safer? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, one thing, do you. And, and you ride a motorcycle, you know, so when you uh, travel and such, you know, I never even noticed, uh, are you usually armed? Uh, I'm almost always armed. Sometimes, like, when I take a shower, I uh, set it down <laughs> on the sink. But other than that, I'm pretty much armed. I think it would be insane not to be dangerous. It's a dangerous world we live in. This police aren't, I, I can't carry a cop around with me, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, that's, and that's a good point to be making, but I, I, I have to ask you, Ernie has what's the perception of everyone else? I mean, are they, are they concerned, or you feel you're in a culture here in Arizona? That's just not that big deal. I think that even though a lot of people are frightened by it a little bit, I think a lot of people realize this is Arizona, this is like the wild, wild west, and there's still a lot of that sentiment left, and so, you know, they, they get it. Was the west that wild, or was it more peaceful people took care of themselves? Oh, 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 absolutely. It's not what it's not what all the movies portray. I'd like to see the stats on that. In fact, I think there are some. Hey, Chris, thanks for standing up for us and not being afraid. Where are you concerned at all? I was a little, a little, but you know, it's got to be done. You're bringing an AR-15 to the President Obama coming to speak with a bunch of people on his side. I'm just, I'm just thinking, you know, big brass ones, man. <laughs> No, I was definitely scared. But it just had to be done. It had to be done. And Chris was the man to do it. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you, Nicole, for everything you've done over the years. I'm, you know, I'm just uh, highlighting you guys. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's this, uh, what's this uh, mask I got on here? Oh, and, and your name, sir? Ben Nichols. Ben. Now, Ben, uh, what's this mask that you got? It is a Joker. Are you getting? What is that? Is that the devil? <laughs> no. Maybe. Uh, doesn't matter. I got a lot of comments on my shirt. We just gotta keep the shirt. Keep the sides, guys. It's, it's the Murray Rothbard no, no, enemy no, of the state perfect. shirt. No problem. Uh, people don't understand it, and you know, you just try to explain. It. Oh, some, somebody had an end the Fed uh, poster on, and a woman came up to me and asked, or a poster. A po she, they were holding an end the Fed poster. Right a woman came up to me and asked me if I was with the. Are you with the person that wants to end the Fed the government? He has that poster that says end the Fed. The thing is. A lot of people here just don't get, you know, the whole philosophy and what it is. And I, you know, I've been telling people around here, what happened to the anti-war movement? It's died. 